Anybody here enjoying the cold? You are. You're enjoying the cold? No? Anybody know? So I've got the perfect solution for you. If you're not enjoying the cold, cold showers. They are absolutely amazing. I do 10 to 15 minute cold showers. So I did one today. And you know, I'm Indian, you know, obviously, right? And I'm not that well endowed down there. Uh, there we go. He knows, right? He knows, yeah. So, and, and she knows as well, yeah, now, because of her husband, right? And so I'm not well down there, but, you know, after five minutes in a cold shower, it shrinks so much, right? It, it turns into a vagina. Which is why I'm in there for 15 minutes. Uh, Good. Right. <laughs> she, I, 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 right? Yeah, I convinced I'm just, I'm just here, just for the hell of it. And uh, I'm not a comedian, and uh, I'm, he, this is my nephew, and he's just letting me on stage for a laugh. Uh, so you know, <laughs> he's going for a shot, right? Good. <laughs> right. So, uh, what can I tell you about me? So, I, I'm Joe Baines. I've been voted right as the Indian with the whitest name. <laughs> <laughs> by immigration uh, for five years in a row my full name is Joseph Uh, but it's alright, I've shown it. Uh, so you guys call me Joe. Mera na bol bol pata ya, bol bol lamma ho gaya. Ajo na kyo roti khala, chai pila, shra pila, pishoda ho gaya. Thanks. Did you guys get that? Everybody got that? No, it's not good. Now you go. One, two, three. Thanks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's racist. <laughs> I think, have, I, have I just turned the mic back? Yes, there you go. Yeah, that, no, that's racist. No, actually, actually, that's just the Indian takeaway menu. It just took me ages to memorize it. By the way, I'm not racist. This is really important. I'm not racist, but I hate white people. <laughs> Sorry. She's, She's happy, they're happy about it. Right? No, I did a gig in Birmingham, I think it was some six, seven months ago. And the MC goes, look, if anybody does any racist stuff, I'm going to pull you off straight away. I was thinking, bloody hell, a white guy telling a brown guy not to be racist. Right? So I've got to be racist. i got to be racist. So I was like, as I was walking on stage, all I could think about was how am I going to be racist? You know, it should be easy, right? So they got up there. Oh, the sea of white people, so I just said, I hate white people. And the audience cheered, you know, like the crack rose stood up and clapped. And they went, yeah, so do we. And they were white as well. So, uh, um, you know, and I've done this a few times, and it's got me big laughs in each of the places. You know, not here. <laughs> obviously. Obviously, right? <laughs> so... So I got a bit cocky over this, so, and I was doing a gig in, in, um, in Brixton. You know, I was doing one of those urban gigs, so it was a, a black crowd. I thought, you know, it's going to work here as well. So, see of black people, so I went up and I said, uh, I hate black people. That was, the same, that was the same response I got there. Well. That's what said. Um, they just folded their arms. Uh, it was the longest 10 minutes of my life, this is what I'm saying. Now, I I'll explain why I hate white people, right? Because, you know, you've got to explain these things, right? I hate white people. It's not just white people I hate. I hate, I hate white comedians. I'll tell you why I hate white comedians. Because they'll write their notes on the back of their hands. Because right? when I try to do that, I couldn't actually read it, right? Because I can't read. <laughs> Not my own handwriting, my handwriting. So what I do, I write my notes on the back of a piece of paper, a white piece of paper, because I am racist, you know, so. Good, so I've done that. Yeah, white people, cold showers, I've done it, really, do you see that? So this is my um, set list, which I was writing on the bus replacement service on the way here, because, you know, I'm successful uh, as a comedian. Because I'm actually originally from Bedford, and my parents wanted me to be a doctor, by the way. Did you know that? It was like, you know, you've got to be, yeah. 
I was like, no, I know better. I, I, I want to perform to, you know, in bars and places like that. Kind of thing. Uh, <laughs> this is my ambition, my life dream. So, anybody here on any kind of diet? You want to diet? You want, what, what's your diet? Intermittent fast, so she's doing it. Anybody doing any other kind of that? Yeah, I'm on the beer diet. Yeah, I, yeah we know your diet. Uh, so, and cider. So I'm on a diet. I'm on uh, keto. Anybody know about this? It's known as zero carb diet. It's known as zero carb diet. Um, my doctor calls, well, well, not my doctor, my uh, my friends call it zero personality. Um, and my doctor calls it cocaine. Anybody got any? Uh, no, but this is serious. No, if you want to lose weight, cocaine is zero carbs. There's no calories in it whatsoever. You will lose weight like really fast. So I, I was in um, West Palm Beach in Florida a couple of years ago, and I ended up at this party, and they had no alcohol. Can you believe it, right? Who goes to a party with no alcohol? But they had this wooden, long wooden table, and they had loads of white lines on it. And everybody was doing three lines. Motherfucker, well, right? I don't want to be a party pooper. So I did three lines as well. It turns out, if you've never taken cocaine before, three lines is too many. <laughs> Basically, I overdosed. Uh, it's fine. Like, I was, I was flying high for about 14, 15 hours. I even videoed myself, right? I watched it back. It was just me making faces at the uh, at, my, at my phone. So yeah, good. Okay. So oh uh, yeah, yeah. That's it. Uh, do you guys know about the alcohol rating system? Do, do, do you guys know? It, it's where a guy looks at a woman. I'm just gonna pick on you because you're sitting at the front. Yeah. Uh, and he goes, oh, she's uh, she's about a six pint. She's not right. She's not by the way. Just so you know. But women do the same thing. They'll pick on a guy and go, he's about ten glasses of wine. Probably right. Well, that system applies to comedians as well. So if you don't find a comedian funny, it's because you just haven't drunk enough. <laughs> Basically, it's your fault. <laughs> so for example, Michael McIntyre, right? He's been rated at one glass of shandy. And I've been rated at 16 pints. <laughs> of tea. Of of tea, of tea. But you know, on a, on a sexual attractiveness scale, I've got some gay friends, I know, so much, right? And they rate me at 10 glasses of wine. But women, and I'm sure these ladies here will agree, rate me at a really low four bottles of champagne. <laughs> right? Which must be right, because that's what I used to get my wife into bed. Because um, she has massive problems sleeping with me. <laughs> but you know, I did my homework, I Googled it. Uh, we find a solution. We got divorced. Because <laughs> <laughs> I found our hookers were cheaper. Not very good hookers then. In 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 Luton. In Luton. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good. Right. So we we started. We started. Well, what's your um? What's your favourite colour? Red. And what about you, man? Purple. I'll tell you. I'll tell you my favourite colour. White. You wish. Privilege. Privilege. Yes. There you go. Okay. Good. Um, so anybody, by the way, anybody into fetishes? Who is into fetishes? I was going to admit to So look, I know, I know you're looking at me and going, God, this guy's hot, right? Uh, and I am. And I am, right? I mean, but the thing is, I am so hot that I'm actually a fetish. <laughs> for men in uniforms. <laughs> you know, when I'm going through security at the airport, I turn them on, you know, like, it really comes to life, you know. And those buttons are popping everywhere, those gloves come on, I mean, you know, it's, it's, just, it's just exciting. I, I was at Miami Airport, you know, I think it was about a month ago, and I think I had a spring in my step, and one of the security guards saw, saw that, and as he walked towards me, he was putting one of those, you know, those latex gloves? Yeah. Those blue ones. Oh, yeah. You know, the hospital ones, yeah. I was like, oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be fun. Three hours. Three hours. It was intimate. I mean I enjoyed it, but you know, I think he rushed it a bit. I mean I wish he'd slowed it down a bit, you know, maybe you know, just you know, have a glass of wine beforehand. A bit of a chit chat. Anybody being searched? 
No. No, no. Yeah, see, I used to think, oh, the one person put their hand out, right? Of course, it's, it'd, be a, it'd be a non-white person, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, where have you been said? I mean, not on the body, but you know, uh, some place. Yeah, airport. Airport, yeah. There you go, yeah. See, I, 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 I'm so confident of getting searched in the airport. Sometimes, right? I don't even take a rucksack with me. Yeah, and I'm, feeling, I'm feeling a bit lonely. Yeah, because I've had me touched for a couple of weeks. I just go to the airport, even if I'm flying, you know, because. You know, you need body. You know, you need human contact, right? Physical contact. It's important, guys. So, if you haven't been touched for a while, like these two have. Go to the airport. And it's been fun. I'm going to the airport now. So, good. Okay, right. So, that. Oh, by the way, I'm I'm Indian. Just to let you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, do you guys know what that means? It means um, I had an arranged marriage. <laughs> do, do you guys understand arranged marriages? It means I'm so sheer of chatting out women that my mum had to step in. <laughs> also, I'm Indian. It means that I work in IT. <laughs> Thank you. That's Harpy, right? Yeah, I got a name right. And yeah, it took me about 15 goes to get a name right. Yeah, so, so I work in IT, which means that even though I'm married, I'm still a virgin. <laughs> because I'm <laughs> because I'm so sheer of sex uh, that my dad had to step in. Oh, <laughs> oh, I'm joking. Wrong. It was my uncle. <laughs> and, and there's my uncle. <laughs> so, so uh, you know, obviously, you guys know about Indian weddings, weddings, right? My wedding was so long, you know, that by the end of it, uh, we were seeing other people. <laughs> <laughs> so I had, I had uh, one of those mixed race uh, marriages. Do you guys? Do you know what? Because I'm from the very north of India, and, and she was fucking mental. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's why he calls me. <laughs> <laughs> me. Me and him, we need to have a word because you know, I'm a bit more advanced on them, on this uh, subject. So did you know that in a traditional Indian wedding, you end up with two wives? Did you know that? Anybody know this? No. no. One was the woman I married, uh, the other her mother. <laughs> I didn't know either of them. I met them both at the same time, obviously, right? Arranged marriage. Uh, and neither would sleep with me. Spirit <laughs> uh, of my life, really. Good. You believe that? Thanks. <laughs> uh, what was I going to tell you? Yeah, so I'm actually from the Punjab. So I'm actually from the Punjab. Do you guys uh, know the Punjab? It's, it, it's a bit like Wales. <laughs> But rather than sheep, we've got a lot of snakes. <laughs> and they're a lot harder to shag. <laughs> no, trust me, I know, because I used to live in uh, Wales. Um, <laughs> but, they, but they give great fly jobs. <laughs> oh, oh, and they swallow, and they swallow, which is nice. Because <laughs> uh, I hate to hang up after myself. So anyway, <laughs> Uh, to, uh, to, to protect the sheep. Good. Right. Uh, I've done that. I've done the cocaine already. That was way down the list. Uh, do, you guys, do you guys know about this thing called self identify? You know, where somebody can go, I self identify as like a cat. And so you, legally you'd have to call him a pussy, right? <laughs> Or somebody says, you know, I self-identify, you know, as a Tory. And then legally, you'd have to call him a cunt. Really? Yeah. Not a Tory stronghold then. Yeah. And, you know, I self-identify as white. Uh, I just want the privileges, basically, what I'm saying. Uh, it's good. Uh, do you guys know, oh, by the way, there was that thing... Yeah, so these jokes, hopefully they're funny. Uh, so, do you know about this J Black James Bond thing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so you know, there's a big hoorah about, you, know, you can't have a, a fictional character who's black, right? <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, there is one fictional character that can't be brown, you know, for like Aqu Aquaman or whatever he's called? Aquaman? Uh, right, Aquaman. he can't. Aquaman, right? Yeah, so he can't be brown, right? Imagine Aquaman with a long hair, beard, right? He's got like uh, a beard and brown coming out of uh, like New York. 
you know, out of the uh, the sea. You know, he'd spend two hours, you know, at customs. You know, so I'm not here to say it's like New York. No, two hours in customs. But on the other hand, he would you he would enjoy waterboarding, wouldn't he? You know, uh, he's like, 